transportation 80 years from now? In eight years. In 80. Oh, in 80 years. Yeah. Well, <laughs> mobility 2088. Yeah, I've been thinking about 80 years. <sighs> wow. Um, um, hmm. That's a good question. I, I, I can speculate, I guess. It's a great question. Are you asking me? In 80 years, people will go from point A to point B in probably a number of methods. Um, I tend to privilege one specific method, which would be the alpha position of the foot. Walking is certainly great for the environment, certainly great for your health. It's certainly fantastic to discover social spaces. It's a great way to mix. The foot is almost perfect. It's gonna take him 80 years to get somewhere? That's pretty long. <laughs> That's a long walk. When you say 80 years, I think it's a chance to really think big. In 80 years, of course. That's easy. A flying car. They're gonna be everywhere. You know, we might all have individual spacecraft that are that are automatically guided through like Google Maps or something. Jetpacks would be nice. I don't know. Personal helicopters. I don't I don't want a jetpack. Imagine taking all the idiots on the road today and putting them up in the air, jetting around. I mean the collisions would be incredible. People talk about teleportation. That's looking like a possibility. Magnetic levitation is another one. What if we could unlock gravity? Definitely. Well, that's going to happen way before that. I think that's within a few weeks. I would say uh, that's going to happen fast, and people being invisible. I am amazed at the progress that gets made in, in 10 or 20 years. And so when I think of 80 years, I think, gosh, all kinds of things can be possible. ま、私事ですけど、あの、実はえ、この夏にえっと、孫がグランドサンガ生まれまして。で、本当にまだちっちゃな命ですけども、え、10年後、20年後、我々と同じような青空がえ、この子は見れるんだろうかってやっぱり
For instance, if you think of the cell phone, it's a fantastic device. And when you measure it against the landline, it's impossible to think, why would I use anything else but a cell phone? So the future car for a city has got to do the same thing that a cell phone has done with landlines. So we want this kind of social mobility device that's kind of a Facebook on wheels. The biggest change would be almost like you take your house with you or you, you're, you're kind of seamless when you leave. So you're in your house and all of a sudden you're in your car and you don't even notice that you've moved, but you're moving. When you can get in a car and say, take me to destination seven, that's gonna be a new form of transportation. Like a slot car, hook into an electrical current and use that as your motive force control-free vehicles where basically there's no such thing as a driver, there's just passengers. In 80 years, I don't know that steel will be what we'll use anymore. Glass technology will change, lighting technology. An autopilot system. Mechanical drive systems will disappear. Stackable cars. Everything's becoming more advanced. A train of cars. Cars that articulate their frames and stand up and then interlock with the car behind it and charges via induction in the street. Maybe people won't even own cars anymore in 80 years. Maybe they'll just be fleets of robot control cars. They've talked about cars that could actually drive themselves. That's called a chauffeur in my, in my book, but. There's a hopefulness predicting things that sound outlandish to us now. There's a lot of optimism in thinking about the future. It's a kind of exercise in dreaming. We can do anything. We can do whatever we want to because, because you could send uh, you sent a dude to the moon. You know, like people can clone a goat. They can they can do a heart transplant. We can do whatever we want to do. People that are you know are known as innovators or, or uh, uh, have all they've all had the vision to look beyond where they are today uh, and see things that other people couldn't see and see new possibilities and new applications. I'm counting on being surprised. So far, history's never let me down. I've been surprised just from the time that I was a child till now. I'm amazed at watching my own kids and how they're living compared to the way I grew up.